Welcome. Greetings. Who is this beautiful lady? My fiance Cindy. Oh, really? Cindy, my mom. She's really beautiful. Come. <laughs> Come, my dear. Oh, you're beautiful. Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. Do you mind? I would like to have a heart to heart talk with her. All right, fine. Like woman to woman. No problem. <laughs> Come, my dear. So, what's your name? My name is Chisindi. Beautiful name. Um, whose daughter are you? My father's name is Barrister James Akuma. He died in an auto crash when I was just 11. And your mother? Elizabeth Akuma. Get out of my house. Your Majesty. Get out of my house! Get out! What happened? Why did you yell at her? Get out. What do you mean I should get out? What happened? Mom! Cindy! Why did my mom yell at you? Just, just let me go, please. Oh, I can't let you go. What happened? Talk to I me. Go. Ask your mom. I should ask my mom. Can't you talk to me? What, what happened? Oh, please. Cindy, you don't have to leave. Cindy. Lady that walked her. Any day I see her here, consider yourself fired. How is the work going? Okay, this is an instruction from the boy. See that lady that just left? Yes. On no account you allow her step in her feet inside here. Yes. Have I made myself clear? Yes, I could. I'm leaving. Sometimes what you want becomes an illusion when you don't go for it. Why don't you go fight for her? Mona, you want me to disobey my mother. Is that what you want me to do? No. I don't want you to disobey mother, the queen. But I want you to fight for what you love. Go for her. That's if you truly love her deep down your heart. Doesn't. She claims her parents are evil. They all claim her parents are evil. Listen to yourself, my prince. What do you know? Do you know how to be uh, someone evil? You fell in love with her. Then fight for what you love. She needs you at this point. She came to this palace because of you. At this point, her, her, her dignity is broken. She's all alone. Hold her. Reassure her. That's if you truly want to be with her. She needs you. Mom! Mom! Mom, I demand an explanation for what just happened. You are not getting any other explanation. 
than the one I have already given you. Listen, you will not marry that girl. They are traitors, enemies. You will not marry her. Who you are going to marry is Amanda, the princess of Ubu Kingdom. I don't love her anymore. I can't marry Amanda because you and dad won't. You will have to marry her. This argument on this matter must stop. I will no longer entertain further argument on this matter. I have made up my mind. You will marry Amanda, the princess of Ogubu Kingdom, as we have agreed with the parents. And that's final. See me, Antonio. Look at you, my son. Father. I invited you over something of great concern to this kingdom. You're my pride as a man today. Since we have virtually lost your elder brother to the white man's land, he has insisted that he will finish his master's degree before coming back to the kingdom to settle down with a woman. And since you are here, and so I want you to begin to prepare over the responsibilities ahead of you. We were privileged to just have Two of you as our children, because your mother had complications after giving birth to you. We need grandchildren, and I promise you. So, since you have a bride already, I want you to consider. Get married as soon as possible. Okay. Father, I will think about it. There is nothing to think about. Okay, Father, but there is no thought. What I have said is final. And I want it started as soon as possible. heart was taken by you My heart was broken by you Yes And now Where are you? My oh. heart is in pieces Where are you looking for you? I'm still holding on to a special guest of yours. The maid you asked me to dress up this Like I said, it's a surprise. Just be patient.
Welcome. My friend. Welcome, my princess. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. <laughs> it's always going to be a lovely surprise. Uh -huh. It's been a while we saw last. Sure. And it's good to see you. <laughs> I've missed you, my love. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. Please. Oh, thank you. Good. You know my son. Princess Amanda left her kingdom just to see her husband to be. So the least you can do is make her comfortable. Oh, Your Majesty, I am comfortable. <laughs> so you don't have to blame him. It was a surprise. Wow. Well, I'll leave both of you to get more acquainted. Son? No. Come on, Achito. Get her entertained. Oh, I'll just stay. I'll, I'll, I'll see you. <laughs> okay? Oh, no. I'm fine. I'm really happy to see you. I'm not looking back. I know. You too. <laughs> <laughs> You sounded urgent when you called. Well, it's a matter of urgency, my love. So, have you been able to find out what your mother has against mine? Not really. I have tried severally, but to no avail. She kept on dashing out threat and hatred. I asked my mom too, and she admitted knowing your mom, but wouldn't say what's between them. I'm sorry, but the pressure on me is becoming unbearable. I know marriage works with such disunity and hatred among in-laws. Moreover, my father is on my neck to settle down with the princess. I've thought about this many times. I think maybe we should let go than continue in this fight that seems lost. I don't want to waste your time anymore and be an obstacle to your suitors. I wish I can disobey my parents, but it's very difficult for me. Especially my mom who has always been there for me. Please. I want you to understand and move on without me. It's okay. Perhaps it's no one's fault. I guess it's just my fit. So, how do I face the world with this shit? 
shame. How? How? How can I? How can I live knowing that a part of you lives in me? Part of me? How do you mean? I am pregnant. What? You, you, you pregnant for me? <laughs> it is a welcome development. You know, a child is a blessing from God, and uh, at no point should any man get one. More so when I crave for more. I think that woman uh, accepts the paternity of the child. So, what now happens to Princess Amanda? Will she not bear children for him? The more the children, the more the advantage for the lineage. As for the princess, not it changes. She still remains the first and the legally married wife. But remember that the prince is entitled to marry many wives and to have as many concubines as he desires. So, son, bring her home and let her expand our lineage with more children. Hmm. I'm not comfortable with that arrangement, Your Highness. It is my decision. Whether it is comfortable with you or not, it makes no difference. You are a woman. So, bring her home. Okay, Father. If that's what they want, I'd rather become your second wife to save this child and terminate my blood. At least we'll still be together. Thank you for your understanding. I love you so much. And I'm glad I didn't lose you completely. And again, my father requests the presence of you and your mother in the palace. <sighs> Lolo, I know you're not in support of my decision. But I want you to know that you must behave yourself in the presence of our guests. Because if you say or do anything untoward, I will consider it as an insubordination against me. Have I made myself clear? Mom, is everything all right? You don't look happy. I'm fine. She's fine. I will go straight to the point. My son, the prince, already told me everything. I have come to the decision that the woman be accepted into the royal family. But I hope you are aware that my son is already engaged to a woman before this development. My daughter explained everything to me. Yes. Oh. Good. So we have come to a consensus. You shall be attended to. After which uh, we discuss the traditional rites to be performed 
before she is brought into our family. Be that as it may, I want you to know that according to our tradition, there shall not be any ceremony since my son already has a wife to be. Have I made myself clear? <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. And so, we shall proceed to the Oyo Bango. I tell you that our son Oyokachi has finally made us proud by settling down with not just a woman, but two women <laughs> to make my lineage fruitful and robust. Your Highness, as far as I am concerned, our son is married to just one wife, and that is Princess Amanda. The other one is just an intruder who is and will ever remain his mistress and bedwoman. After all, nothing serious was done on her head. I understand uh, you never liked kissing the all this while, but I need you to remember that she is carrying our blood. And she will soon give us a child, even before the princess. I think she deserves some affection for that responsibility, you know. She forced herself into this home. And that will not make her more than what she is. A gold digger. <sighs> Who is that? Our son. Oh, I would like to speak with him after you. Uh, um, hello, Sam. How is the UK? Oh, well, we are fine here. Uh, what did you say? You want to come back home? <laughs> That's wonderful. That is the best news I've had the whole of this year. <laughs> well, your mother is here. She wouldn't let me be. <laughs> She just want to talk with you. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Hello now. How are you? My future medical doctor. <laughs> well, we are good here, all of us. So, tell me, when are you coming home? Wonderful! We all will be waiting for you, okay? I love you! Speak with him. Yes, I'm so, we're so excited to know that you're coming back home. Uh, yes, we, we will be waiting for you. Okay. Thank you so much, man. Proud of you, son. Uh, I'm good <laughs> Uh, I guess you're going to be relieved now. Where are the rest? Why the not you? How the colors? Why are we here? We have to all embrace discipline and that entails you, the chief guard, coming up for meeting early enough before your subjects. Like I said, we are very busy while we're here. It's okay. Um, let it be known that I will not tolerate litmus for any emergency meeting I call for, henceforth. The king has ordered me to instruct you all to be up and doing because we're expecting an important guest here in the palace. So from your shoes to your clothes, neatness should be a topmost priority in this palace. Am I understood? Like I said, we are very busy. We will be around when the guests arise. We will be to the king's command. So if you don't, I beg for my leave. You should go and 
do what you do. And that was how he kept on shouting, shenanigan, shenanigan, leave that place, shenanigan. I was like, what? Wow. And until the police came and bundled him out of the place. Oh, yes. The guy is wow. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Enough with the stories. I want you to blow your feet. The sacred order. As my princess pleases. the meaning of this nonsense if I may ask. And what nonsense are you talking about my princess? Don't you have better things to do than lazy around whilst laughing with a pregnant woman? I take an exception to that my princess. You dare talk back at me? Are you crazy? My princess, what gives you the impression that you can go in and out of this palace insulting people? A lady of your class, my princess, is meant to gain mastery of composure. I hope you walk on that, my princess. How dare you speak to me in that manner? I see you've grown a lot of wings. You know what? I'll make sure the king takes actions for these insults. As for you, you cannot reap where you did not sow. What a laugh. You ruling with the help. I'm sure you remember he's still the help. Think about it. <laughs> My princess, I suggest you don't let those words of folly get into your beautiful mind. Ignore her. I'm sorry, but I won't be joining you. I'm leaving for the city. I have an urgent appointment. No. No. Not again. Ever since I moved into this house, from one meeting to the other, you've never had time for me, despite my condition. You know I'm pregnant, and I need you by my side more than ever. But you go to the city to live with Amanda. And you abandon me here like I'm married to your parents. Why? Why don't you just just take me to the city to live with you? Cindy, Cindy. Am I not good for this? Cindy, city? please stop. Stop, alright? You only know the reasons I prepared to live with Amanda in the city is to separate both of you from each other. And, and again, to avoid having both of you caught up in a matrimonial fissure. Why are you even complaining? Are you lacking anything? Yes! Yes, I'm lacking! I'm lacking everything needed in marriage! I'm lacking emotional attention from my husband! Look, you know, sometimes I think... I think you forget that I'm a woman. You forget that I'm a woman and that I need you by my side. It's been three months. Three whole months of being married. And I've spent just just two nights. Two nights with you. What excuse can you make up for that? Cindy, can you just stop? This is not the right time for this. Right? I'm running late for a business meeting. I left some money for you in the bedroom to take care of yourself. Right? Just be good. Take care of my parents. And I promise to come back this weekend. Do you know my brother is returning from abroad, so I need to go around to welcome him. Just be good.
to sit so low as to rub in your body against that gut of ink and even getting her pregnant regardless of your royal status enough enough of all this madness i've not only apologized to you i've also tried to make you understand that it was a mistake 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 you say <laughs> what a grave mistake listen amanda We've been through these times enough for you to quit this madness, for you to quit this drama, this anger. Just quit and... Can you stop? Stop what? Stop what exactly? Oh, so because you are apologizing to me, you just want me to understand that, oh, um, this, I did... I'm Why? I'm with this conversation. No, you're not done and you don't know where when I'm talking to you. Are you trying to stop me from... Yes, I am stopping you. You're not going anywhere. Amanda, nothing. Leave the way. I am not. Amanda, leave. I am not leaving the way. You are not going nowhere. You won't go anywhere. Really? Really. About what? After what you displayed in there. Please, I don't have time for all this nonsense. And that's why I said we needed to talk. Anyways, I'll make it really short and simple. It's either you choose her or you choose me. But you need to make that decision right now. Please calm down. I already told you that I will take care of this. Mom, mom, please, can you can you just leave this whole matter, please? It's not like heaven is going to fall. I, I, I will handle it. Mom, please, I'm driving, please. I'll talk to you later. I'm driving. Mom, I'm driving now. I'll talk to you later. What's going on? Why? What's wrong with your mom? And why? The, why are you saying heaven wants to fall? What's the problem? That is a very big problem, bro. Okay. But it's not well. What happened? I got a friend pregnant. What the fuck? You got what? What do you mean by what the fuck? I got a friend pregnant. You know this thing now. Come on, man. Hey, in my ear. I got a friend pregnant, and my wife has been like a bone on my neck. Say what the fuck? This is trouble. This is trouble. When you can serious trouble, serious trouble. But and ever since my wife knows about this, it has been one issue or the other. I don't have peace in my house anymore. So, 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 as it as it stands now, what do you intend to do? You don't mean it. I mean every word I just told you, Rose. Read my lips. He not only got a woman pregnant, he got a low life, classless, commoner. Oh. Rose, what a shame. Someone not even fit to dust my feet. Oh. What an embarrassment. My dear girlfriend. <sighs> I know how you feel. Yes, I do. But you see, the deed has been done. There is nothing you can do. But there is something I want you to do. Yes. 
Make her pay. Make her pay. Yes. But you know what? In everything you do, make sure you don't lose your man completely to her. That is where the washing will come in. Really? I'm certain. My princess, Una. where are you going to with a sad bag? I'm just going to the market to get some food stuff, as the queen instructed. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're being serious? Yes, I'm serious. Please, Muna, let's talk later. I need to go before the queen. Mama, what, 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 what are you doing? You can't. You're pregnant, for God's sake. You can't. No, you're kidding. We have designated guards and maidens assigned to go to the market to run errands in this palace. So why you? Um, maybe the queen mother wants me to buy them myself. The, 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 the queen mother wants what? Look, my princess, you are pregnant. Okay? And there's no way the queen mother will want you to go to the market in this condition. Muna, it's okay. Okay, I think the baby needs it. Yes, you know, as a pregnant woman, you need to exercise sometimes. So, it's okay. Why is the queen punishing this innocent girl? What is going on? Why the hatred? Why the bitterness? Muna. Uh, um, what is it? Uh, nothing, actually. Um, well, if you must go alone, then... Um, Muna Chinso will go with you. Hmm. Really? Of course. Are you sure? After you, my princess. I see your dress handsomely to go to the village. And I've been here waiting for you, so shall we? Don't worry, I'm not going to the village. Of course, you are going to the village. I am. Don't even try to fool me. Let's go. I'm ready, I'm dressed. I said I'm not going to the village. She said I can't go to the village without her. She insisted. I thought that I wasn't going to the village. Man, I'm just tired of this whole My thing. guy, this is getting out of hand. It's serious right now. You really have to do something about it. You understand? I'm like this. I don't know. What do you I'm confused. For men, you have to do something about it. You're just getting out of hand. Just have to be happy. It's alright, I'll do what I have to do now. Right, right, right. Let me get about half a second. My lord, I'm sorry for my absence and lack of communication. But I promise to be with you sooner than later. I promise you. I love you so much. You could go ahead. There's no need ending the call because I heard everything you just told her. Listen, Amanda. I'm not in for any trouble. Please. You bring in the trouble! And then you turn around and say you don't want trouble! Okay, fine. What do you want to do? Do you want to fight me? Do you want to beat me up? Go ahead! I don't get you! I don't get you at all! 
You go to drama and you don't want drama. So now I am troublesome. Listen, you don't work out for me when I'm talking to you. I have done everything practically possible to get him back. But to no avail. I have been diplomatic. I have been subtle. I have been rash. Name it. Everything. I've exhausted all options. I don't know what else to do, Rose. I am tired. I'm truly tired. My dear friend, do you know I'm thinking? Like, I'm thinking. Are you sure that girl doesn't have him under a spell? Like, manipulating him? Yes. Because the way he's going about this girl, judging by what you said. <laughs> My dear, don't trust such people. Don't. Come. <laughs> Come to think of it. You might just be right. I am right. I she know I'm right. be using something. Because, no, <laughs> she is using something. <laughs> Babe, you can't trust anyone, but it's okay. Hmm? There's always a way out. Just come to the floor. You have to think too much. I'm uh, catching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. What are you doing there? You skinny nitwit. My friend, come round. Look at her. See the way she's even walking. Why were you talking to him? You Sorry. nitwit. Sorry for yourself. Go get me some apples, uh, one banana, maybe some tangerines, and that's all. all right. Why is it that this this generation, when did you see any car parked? Their um, female whiskers um, are just um, out, their okay. tenor is out to grab. No, don't tell me it's okay, she's being arrogant and she's being very, very insolent. What rubbish? This is it, man. See? Very arrogant. This is it, man. Whatever. How much is it? How much? It's 5,000, sir. But I just asked you how much it was and you didn't answer and you're answering him. The same thing I just said. What is your problem? Why are you this desperate? He's my man and you can take him away from me, okay? Is that clear? I'm if you sorry. want your husband, go get yours. This is mine. Is that fine? Yes, it's okay. You know what? Just just pay her. Let's do this. Rubbish. Pay her! Yeah, with the money. Whatever. And next time you, you learn to address people properly. Princess, 
stop crying already. I've told you time with that number. Crying will solve nothing. Look, my mother always tell me that pregnant women are not meant to cry. Why? Um, because it will harm your baby. It will even make them a cry cry baby princess. I can't help it. I can't. Why? Why has fate decided to be so cruel to me and my unborn baby? Gosh, princess, gosh. Don't say such harmful words to yourself. Remember, there is power in the tongue. I don't care. I don't care. The princess, you should at least for the sake of this unborn child. You should care. Look, you need to relax. Everything will work out perfectly well. Trust me. My heart was taken by you. My heart was broken by you 